welcome back. We're so happy to have you here. So you might be a little confused, like what season is it? Is it spring? <laughs> is it winter? We don't know. No, the truth is we live in Florida. So one day it's spring weather, the next day it's winter weather. I haven't been outside yet because we're in my house. Christina has, I think it's actually cold out today. So it is. you're dressed appropriately. I may need a jacket, but anyway, we are here for it all. And we have lots of fun things to share with you today. This video is the ultimate guide to wearing flats with jeans. So a little while ago, we put out a video on the ultimate guide to wearing boots with jeans and you guys really seem to love it. So we thought we'd go ahead and share with you some ideas of how to style the different types of flats with the different styles of jeans that are really trending. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump into it. A lot of us are wearing some relaxed jeans. I would say probably the most popular one that I think looks the best on so many different women's body shapes is a flare jean. So I wanted to really show you guys the easiest way to wear flats with flare jeans. In this particular outfit, I have styled a long sleeve puff sleeve black top. It has a little bit of ruching, has some of that puff sleeve element, along with a pin tuck flare jean. This is a mid-rise jean. Now, as you can see, the length of this jean touches the floor. Now it's not giving that, you know, overly billowy, like long, I'm not stepping on the bottom of the hem. It's just skimming the floor. And that really is the perfect length for wearing a flare jean when you want to wear them with flats. In this one, I'm styling it with a black sling back flat. As you can see, a little bit of the shoe is showing. This really is the easiest way to style a flare jean. Because there is a volume at the bottom of the flare, it's really a little bit more difficult to style it with a traditional round shoe. This tends to give, I think, especially for my body shape, a bit of a frumpier look. So when you have that pointed toe, it helps to elongate not only the leg, but also the foot, keeping it very streamlined. So if you are someone who really loves flared, jeans and you are really struggling with the type of shoe to select when you're wearing those flare jeans, always look for something that has a pointed toe or even I would say sometimes an almond shaped toe. It definitely will help to give you a much more streamlined and elongated look. So another very popular current style of jean is a straight leg jean. So this next outfit that I styled is a straight leg, but it is a little bit of a crop to it. So when we talk about cropped, usually for Christina and I, that means like right around that ankle bone is kind of this sweet spot. We don't like anything that is too cropped. We're not looking for like a capri style pant because that can really shorten the body. However, when we're wearing flats, we both find that it's more flattering on our bodies when we show a little bit more of the skin. So for this next look, I styled a pair of loafers. These are a great, very budget-friendly pair with a little bit of a horse bit detail. And you will notice that these loafers have more of this almond-shaped toe rather than a very rounded toe. And you're gonna notice this theme throughout the video that for Christina and I, we both tend to gravitate towards either an almond-shaped toe or a pointy toe. And the reason for that is that these are both more flattering on the body typically and just easier in general to style. So it's not to say that you cannot wear a rounded ballerina flat. With this particular look, you could absolutely get away with a rounded ballerina flat. We just feel that an almond shape is easier to pull off. It's more elongating to the legs and it definitely avoids running into that frumpy territory. So this almond shape pair is really cute. I paired it with these straight leg jeans that have just a little bit of a crop. You can see some of the skin on the foot and the leg. I think that that also keeps it from looking frumpy. And I did style it with a looser fitting sweater in this classic um, black and white stripe and just a slouchy bag. So this is one of the jean styles that I think works really well with flats. So before I begin, I wanted to share my top with you. This is a black budget-friendly turtleneck sweater that has a little cutout in the shoulder. So I thought this detail was a little fun and flirty, and I just styled it with this serpent wrap ring along with these textured teardrop earrings, just a couple of jewelry pieces that I've really been wearing a lot on repeat lately. So I wanted to share with you, ladies, another straight leg jean look. 
Now straight leg jeans are also another very popular relaxed style jeans. This one in particular has a bit of a looser fit through the thigh area. Now these are normally a full length jean. So the jean actually goes completely past my ankle. And normally when I wear these jeans, I will style them with a heel and it's because of that extra length. Now if I didn't, then it would almost give this like very scrunchy kind of look. If you guys remember when I was growing up, we would have the scrunchy socks that we would like push down. Same kind of effect happens when you're wearing flats with a straight leg jean that is past the ankle. So for these ones, I specifically cut them, gave them a little raw hem so I could show you exactly where I like to wear this type of straight leg jean. So it's either gonna be slightly above the ankle bone, right at the ankle bone, or slightly below the ankle bone. This allows just enough of the foot to really show, as you can see when I've styled it with these cognac mules. So this rises up the foot slightly higher than a sling back flat. And because of that, it's really important to make sure that the placement of that hem is in that ankle part. This really will allow for the jean to sit perfectly and eliminate that frumpy factor that you can get when the jean is a little too long. Now, because I've styled it with a cognac mule, I really thought that this oversized button up shirt was really just the perfect combination with it because I do love navy and cognac together. But because that um, up button up is a little bit oversized, I definitely needed to uh, balance out the bottom half. So if I had gone with a wide leg jean, I overall would have gotten a frumpier look, which is the reason why a straight leg really was the perfect match for this particular outfit. Okay, so before I show you the next look with flats, I wanted to jump in here and do a little bit of housekeeping, starting with if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please make sure you do that. It really helps out our channel, helps us to grow. And also, if you haven't followed us over on Instagram, do that as well. We have lots of great content over there. A lot of times if we are sharing some sales or some outfit ideas, that is the fastest way for you to find it, as well as hitting your notification bell here on YouTube so that you see see our community page where we share a lot of extra content every single day. So make sure you take care of all of those things and let me share with you what I have on today because this is one of my favorite shirts. It actually was in our favorites video and that is this little very budget friendly cardigan in this beautiful little ivory and blue floral print. This is available in several different prints as well as solids. I've already ordered I think about four different ones. It's a little button up cardigan, super comfortable. I sized up to a medium because it is more of a fitted style. And for my jewelry, I have on some fun little hoop earrings as well as my Tory Burch two-tone rectangular watch and some chain link bracelets. One is mixed metal and one is mixed chain link. So those are my items for today. Okay, so for my next look, I went with one of my favorite styles of jeans, which are flares. So I love these like 70s light wash flares, but I want you to keep in mind that this would also be the case of what you might do if you were wearing a wide leg jean. So these are a pair of jeans that definitely have a wider opening on the bottom. And if you were wearing a wide leg jean, that could even be wider throughout the leg. So what's important about wearing these wider style relaxed jeans is the flats that you choose. So Christina mentioned earlier, she was also wearing a pointed toe style flat. I did the same thing here, a very pointed style flat. And that is because that wide leg really needs to be balanced out with more of a narrow toe line. So you could pull off something like an almond shaped toe that was a bit elongated, maybe even an elongated almond shape with like a, a square toe at the end. But really your best bet when you're wearing these very wide open leg jeans is to wear something that is pointier. It balances out that width with the elongating of the leg line. So it's just a little trick that we didn't even realize why we were doing it. We just noticed that we were always doing it. So it really does tend to work. It tends to balance it out. If I were to switch these out with a very rounded, you know, wide toed ballerina flat, you would definitely see how it kind of frumps up the look a bit and it doesn't give that sleek elevated look. So I paired these 
flared jeans with this beautiful like fuchsia pink button up style top. I love this color. I love this classic look. And I added these elements of metallic to really update this. It's very on trend to add some metallics. So I've got the silver metallic in my belt as well as in this beautiful pointed toe shoe. And I just love these elements together. But we really wanted to show you how these wider leg jeans really look their best when you pick a flat that has an elongated toe line and especially in this pointed style shape. So if you love pointed toe shoes, especially slingbacks, we actually have quite a few pairs that we have been loving. So we'll definitely make sure to link some of our favorites in each of these categories below because you might not be interested in the silver, but we do have a great nude pair as well as a black, a red, and lots of great options. So definitely check those out. I'll make sure to label them so that you can find all of the pointed toe and all of the loafers and all of the different different types of shoes that we are recommending throughout the video. All right, so another popular jean that you guys are also styling a lot that I wanted to make sure that I gave you some tips on is a slim straight jean. So this is a style of jean that's gonna be much more fitted throughout the thigh, even you may even notice somewhat through the um, calf area, but you're going to have a looser fit right around the ankle. So this is a pair that I have picked up a while ago and have been sharing with you ladies on repeat. It does also hit right in that sweet spot area, right in the ankle area. And I just styled it with a budget friendly champagne colored satin top. So I was really going for a very classic type of look. So really this is, I would say, probably the most versatile style jean to really style with any kind of flats. I picked a two-tone sling back flat, but because it is a slim straight jean, it would have been just as easy to style with a mule or even a loafer that has a higher rise up on the foot, and that's because of the style of bottom. There's not a lot of width, there's not a lot of volume to the bottom of the pants, so you don't have to be as conscious or worried about the shape of the toe. An almond toe, a round toe would have been just as easy as a pointed toe flat to wear with this. So if you are someone that has a lot of variety in the type of shoes that you have, then you may find that a slim straight jean really is your best bet in having in your wardrobe when you're styling jeans for this year. Okay, so I wanted to try and incorporate into this video one pair of jeans with the cuffed hem. So this is definitely a trend that we are seeing more and more of popping up. Everything from wide leg jeans with a sewn in cuffed hem to a boyfriend style jean that is cuffed to even more of a like slim straight jean that is cuffed. It's just becoming more and more popular, definitely a trend that we're seeing. So I wanted to share with you how I did this one. So starting with these jeans, these are more of a little bit of a looser girlfriend style fit. So they're not super baggy, but they're also not a traditional like slim straight jean. Mine do have some distressing on them. And when I wear them full length, they do go all the way down my leg and I chose to style them with these ballerina flats. So this is a really cute casual pair of flats. I picked these up in the pink. They also come in black as well. They do have the strap over the foot, which is really cute and they have a bit of a square toe. So I'm gonna show you when I wear these without cuffing the jeans, I still think this isn't terrible. This isn't a bad look. However, I do find it to be just a little bit dull and a little bit leaning into frumpy with the looser fitting jean and the ballerina style shoe. However, when I just give these jeans a little bit of a cuff, I've now created that little bit of skin, a little bit of a cropped look showing more of the top of my foot and a little peak of ankle. And I feel that this looks a lot more modern, a lot more flattering on the leg. I just really think this works and I think it's because of that like cropped look that you're getting. So I could either cut these jeans and have them to the perfect length or now with this cuffing trend being popular, you don't even have to cut them. You can just fold them over, give them a little bit of a cuff, and that will work as well. So I wanted to share with you how I styled this. I put it with a very simple cardigan top in this ivory color, and I feel like this is just a perfect, super casual, everyday look. 
Okay, ladies, we hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And as always, if there's anything that you are interested in, whether it's a shoe that we shared or a jean or a top, we'll have everything linked in the description box as well as pinned to that first comment. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you go and watch our ultimate guide to wearing boots video if you haven't seen it yet. And let us know in the comments, would you like to see an ultimate guide to wearing sneakers with jeans? Because that's definitely one we have thought about doing as well and we'll catch you next time.